If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. To create a quote in Sage 50 Accounting, select Tasks, Quotes, Sales Orders, Proposals, Quotes from the menu bar to open the Quotes window. Then select the ID of the customer or prospect receiving the quote from the Customer ID field. The customer must exist in your customer list to create a quote for them. If you plan on printing the quote, then leave the quote number field blank. If you manually created a quote and are just recording it in Sage 50, then enter the quote number you gave to the customer in the quote number field. Enter the date the quote was created into the date field. The bill to and ship to fields display the information for the selected customer. You can change the ship to field by clicking the drop down arrow next to that field and selecting a different shipping address for the customer. You can also specify a drop shipment by checking the drop ship checkbox. The good through field displays a date that is one month away from the date field's value by default, but you can change this if necessary. In the customer PO field, enter the customer's purchase order number if applicable. Select the shipping method from the Ship via Fields drop down menu of choices. You can also select a sales rep ID from the sales rep field. You can also enter the accounts receivable account that the quote will debit when it is converted into an invoice into the AR account field. This field will default to the last account used in a sales transaction if shown within the form, and you can change it if necessary. Then enter the quantity of the first item ordered into the quantity field. Select the item that was ordered from the item fields drop down menu of item choices. The description of the selected item appears in the description field. You can manually enter a description for items you don't track through inventory. The GL account field, if shown, shows the account associated with the selected item. When ordering items not in inventory, the customer's sales account appears here. You can change this if necessary. It is also important to remember that this will not affect the general ledger until you convert the quote into a sales invoice. In the Unit Price field, the sales price of the selected item appears. If it is an item you don't track as inventory, you must enter the price in this field. The Tax field shows the tax type of the selected item. If it isn't an inventory item, then you must select a tax type from this field. The Amount field shows the quantity times the unit price. If entering a non-inventory item, then enter the total price of the item order in this field. If the quote is for a specific job, select the job from the Job field. It will not actually be applied to the job, however, until the quote is converted into an invoice. Repeat this process to enter all the items for the quote. In the Sales Tax Code field, the Sales Tax Code for the selected customer appears. If you need to change their Sales Tax Code, select one from the drop-down list. Finally, enter any freight charges for this transaction into the Freight field. When finished, you can print or save the quote using the buttons in the toolbar at the top of this window. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.